Hello guys, this is Rich Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the Paling Prisoner channel na punta rito at na join sa devotional natin the other night. Shout out and God bless to Emily Mansalay, Jackie Val Abejo, Driveway POB, Yans TV, Bibilin Hinerali, Devs Bilia, Anna BR, Heart Ponsalan, Samot Sarin Blog, and Kim Chu. Guys, kumusta po yung Sunday natin? Sana lahat tayo nakapunta sa church, no? Together with our family para naman mag tayo kay Lord, no? Mas maganda talaga if uh, the whole family will go together sa church, no? Okay guys, before I'll start the devotional, no? Reminder again, uh, I'm having uh, feeding sa mga less fortunate children dito sa subdivision namin. Kaya uh, I'm soliciting an amount from you, no? Kung... Uh, Gusto niyo just ano, just uh, send it direct to my chika. Shout out pala sa nag, nagpadala na ng mga ano nila. And still praying and hoping na madagdagan pa para mag, maganda naman yung kakanin ng ano, kakainin ng mga bibigyan natin. Guys, I really want to invest in this matter because I also want you to be blessed. na I-bless tayo ni Lord. Kaya, I have this advocacy, hindi yung pa-games, games, no? Okay, guys, let's now proceed to our devotion. Let's open our Bible to Psalms 18, verses 3 to 6, and then 16 to 19. Okay? Psalms 18, verses 3 to 6, and then 16 to 19. Okay, still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words used here so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord says, I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise, and I am saved from my enemies. The cord of death entangled me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of grave called around me. The snakes of death confronted me. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. Okay, and then proceed to verse 16 to 19. He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was for my support. He brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, let's now pray. <clears throat> Father God, we're not exempted from danger. That's why, Lord, as the summit will say, we, we are always in danger. We're being attacked by the enemy. That's why, Lord, I pray, rescue us from the walls and schemes of the enemy. Lord, we pray for your protection over us. Put us right at your very hands, O God, where nails is being pierced. For by before the enemy would attack us, Lord, ikaw ang unang inataki at hindi kami, O God. Lord, we pray for your leading. We pray for the covering of your precious blood against the walls and, and skins of the enemy. Lord, send us down your warring angel to fight back the plans of the enemy for us. Lord, lead us, guide us, manifest in us. We pray, O oh God, for our longer life for us to stay in this world, O oh Lord. Give me, God, for healing sa mga may uh, sakit, O oh Lord, may karamdaman na uh, pumunta rito, even the members of their family, O oh God. Lord, salamat ni ka bumibisita, ikaw yung hihipo sa kanila in order for us to really achieve the total healing that came from you. Lord, thank you also that your hand is not too short to provide us of our needs, particularly when it comes to finances. Lord, thank you. We praise you. We bless you. We commit all the sins to you, O God, in Jesus' name pray. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Psalms 
18 verse 19 and it says, God brought me out into a spacious place. Amen. No? Amen. Okay, so the title of our devotional for this evening, guys, is Freed from Our Caves. Okay, while out taking walks, writer Martin Laird would often encounter a man with four carry blue terriers. Three other dogs run wild through the open fields, but only stayed near its owner, running in tight circles. When Laird finally stopped, and asked about this odd behavior, the owner explained that it was a rescue dog that had spent most of his life locked in a cage. The terrier continued to run in circles as though contained inside a confined box. The scripture reveals that we're trapped and hopeless unless God rescues us. The sound spoke of being afflicted by an enemy entrapped by the snares of death with the cords of death coiled around him enclosed enclosed and shackled he cried to god for help and with thundering power he reached down and took hold of him god can do the same for us he can break the chains and release us from our confining cages he can set us free and carry us out into a spacious space, place. How sad it is. Then we keep running in small circles as if we're still confined in our old prison. In his strength, may we no longer be bound by fears, shame, or oppression. God has rescued us from those cages of death. He can run Free or we can also run free. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, no, we're in the situation na <clears throat> takot, takot tayong umalis because of this what we're experiencing this time. But praise God, no, God had protected us na we can just go anytime, of course, with extra care ang gagawin natin para hindi tayo mahawa. Guys, every time we, ano, no, because the enemy is really there, every time we go out of our house, let's re, uh, really pray for protection over us, no? Covering the precious blood na hindi tayo ma-attack na enemy, yung mga enemy natin na hindi nakikita, no? Kasi itong COVID, hindi makikita. So, that's why we really have to pray every day, no, before tayo lalabas. Maski na sa, ano, sa sakya na tayo for traveling, no, we can still pray to God for our protection. Kailangan natin yan, guys, no? Kailangan natin yan. Kasi, God is in control of everything, no? Gaya nung dalawa, uh, apat na terrier, no, they're just uh, running around the owner kay Laird, no? Pero, ang explain ni Laird is, uh, they are mga guard dogs pala, no? Na, ano, uh, palibot lang sila. So, uh, because, no, laid, ano, bring them out, nagiging free sila to run anywhere, pabalik-balik, no? So, uh, let's claim it, guys, na <clears throat> God would free us from, yung ito, yung sinabi niya sa verse 19, brought us out into a spacious place, no? Na may freedom tayo to do Things. Particularly, guys, na makapag-serve tayo kay Lord. Kasi, I know, God would really be happy if we are going to serve Him. No? Okay, let's now proceed to the top question, guys. What are the cages that you have you have confined? Me? Hindi ako naka-cage, pero <clears throat> parang nililimit ko lang talaga yung, ano, yung paglabas-labas ko. No? To go elsewhere like that. But of course, if I'm with my family, you know, I, if my uh, brothers and sister would invite me, of course, I really have to go because that's a family affair. No? Okay, gaya na nang nangyari kanina, no? uh, hapon na kami, nakarating kasi, uh, my brother invited me to go to Cagandero. And I also wanted to go because it's been almost three years na na hindi ako nakapunta ng Cagandero because of this pandemic. So, yun, parang na case kinikage ko yung sarili ko, no? Pero hindi ako nakakage. Okay. Second question. How are you living as though an old cage still struck and hold you? Uh, 
wala kung ano. Because pag ganyan na situation, I'll just keep on praying, asking God to release me from such situation. And I know God would really do it because this is also the desire of His heart. Okay? So guys, let's now pray. God, you say, you set the captives free. Help us to believe it. Help us to leave it. You want to be free. You want to be in your spacious place. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, let's claim it. That God would set us free in order for us to experience freedom. Guys, God bless us all because I know God will surely bless us 10 times better. This is again Richard Wits TV. Kita-kita tayo muli. Tangan sa muli. Paalam!